Hello and welcome guys. Today I am going to start a new series of tutorials on C++ and recall the first tutorial on this part was how to create a C++ project with Visual Studio 2017. So I will click on new project and I'll bring this Windows desktop and I'll go for the Windows desktop wizard name this project output stream demo and click on OK that will bring this Windows desktop project wizard so I'll go with the default ones pre-compiled header and security development lifestyle all checked and click on OK yeah so I've got this file output stream demo dot cpp and it has got a shell of a program to print hello world and if you recall you just build it control f5 run and it should print the hello world string on the console that's it so now we will start building a new project i'll just delete the unnecessary steps and and i'll start building my application and i will write in new using statement using namespace std i will defer its explanation for a bit i will get rid of oh let me keep this first statement and by using standard namespace i don't need to write standard colon colon c out and c out is the output stream object the second line is c out this is output stream reference you know stream reference operator you can say say we'll write like this number is say 89 then a space and quote less than less than which is the stream operator 89 and then again a pair of less than less than signs which I will explain a little from now please keep on watching and this is new line character it puts the other statements after this C out in the next line the next is another C out statement, another stream operator. Here I'll write this string the manipulator endl. So endl is another way of writing backslash n or slash n, which is the end of the line. It puts anything after this to a new line it inserts a new line character so it is pronounced endl and then c out another stream initialization operator I'll put a gap over here the writes a new line to the screen And then another C out statement. And after this, it will end L to end the line, put everything else to a new line. So here a new line starts, and the C out output stream object to output stream object we are writing here is a fraction backslash t backslash t now each of these backslash t will introduce a tab space three spaces next c out again less than less than sign so this is something new so i'll write float within bracket and then write a fraction 3 by 14 you can write anything else 5 by 12 8 by 7 
whatever and then I will put another endl end line statement to insert a new line then again a cout statement then stream operator next I write don't forget to replace one's empty space and then again a cout statement then stream operator Jesse Liberty, a name of an author of O'Reilly Publications, with your name and uh, three dots. Then again, a new line character. And finally, I write a C out statement. Rob is a C++ and you can replace Rob with your own name. Rob is a C++ programmer backslash end end of the line character and a semicolon. So every sentence, every code line is terminated by a semicolon. That's it and then I will build I'll, I'll just uh, run this application with control F5 click on enter no it doesn't there are build errors so let's see what is the problem unexpected end of the file while looking for the pre-compiled header okay remember we have just excluded the hash include pch dot header file so that is a pre-compiled header file so I think I need to include it so I'll just put it and then rebuild So now my the, the program builds. Now, before running this program, I have included these line numbers from the tools and options tab. The so line numbers for C, C++ within options, just to explain these output lines. So here we'll see on line five, we have included IO stream it causes the IO stream file to be added to the source code this is required if we use C out or output stream object to the project and its related functions and on the line 9 this line the stream puts the line hello world on the screen and introduces a new line character as I've told within the project as I was writing the code and it introduces the new line with a special formatting character which is known as backslash n or new line character and on line 10 this c out there are three values passed to this c out the output stream the message this is the number 89 and the number 89 itself and the end of the line or the new line character and on line 11 an informative message is printed on the screen telling us the use of end L which is to write a new line to the screen and line 13 puts a new line and on line 15 this is a special thing a fraction that is 3 by 14 is inserted to C out which is converted to a float with the term float within brackets for evaluating its decimal equivalent so a fraction is printed and on the line 18 which is the last line you should have substituted your name for the Jesse Liberty which will confirm that you are a programmer as the computer said so so thanks for watching if you like my video click on the likes and put your comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you